Good morning and happy Sabbath, church family. Today we gather to, I'm going to ask Pastor and family to come a little bit closer. I don't bite, I promise. Only on the weekdays, not on the weekend. <laughs> Today we gather to express our heartfelt appreciation for our beloved Pastor Dotton. Pastor, your unwavering commitment to the work of Christ has been an inspiration to each of us here at Tabernacle. You lead not only with wisdom and passion, but with an open heart that reaches out to both members and non-members alike. Whether it's through your powerful sermons, your prayers, or just a kind word when we need it most, your support and dedication have left a lasting impact on us all. We know the work you do is not always easy. It takes incredible strength and devotion. And we also want to recognize your wonderful family for standing beside you every step of the way. To Melanie, Brooke, and Levi, thank you for sharing your husband and father with us for your patience, understanding, and unwavering support in this challenging yet important ministry. As a small token of appreciation, we're going to unveil this right now. We have a special gift for you. This is a beautiful... Uh -oh. A family portrait, this drawn by our very own Chiron Ned. And this portrait symbolizes the unity, love, and dedication that define your ministry, both to your own family and to this church family. We hope it serves as a reminder of how much you are valued and loved by all of us. On behalf of the Tabernacle SDA Church family, we say thank you. Thank you for your tireless efforts, for always being there, and for guiding us with your love for Christ. We are truly blessed to have you as our shepherd. May God continue to bless you and strengthen you in all that you do. And we also have a card for you, Pastor. Um, we're going to, a picture? Okay. Um, can you take it up? <laughs> we have a few more presentations, so please bear with us. Uh, next will be children's ministry. Hello, pastor and family. Um, we are here to just let you know how much we appreciate you and your entire family. First off, pastor, we want to say you give us confidence. You give us confidence to um, plan programs for our children, and it, it serves so well knowing that we have your support always. So we can plan, we can do things for them to enrich them, always knowing that your support will be there. Melanie, we thank you for being a laborer with us. No matter how our week goes, when we get here on Sabbath morning or whatever programs are going on, we have to come with the energy to be ready to um, be involved with the children and we just thank you for graciously being part of our team. To Brooke and Levi, we um, are so excited that we were able to just watch you all grow. You came here as, you know, younger children. Now Brooke is a teen, Levi is growing taller, and we're just happy to be a part of that village. Brooke, we want to let you know that we see you. We see your quiet but confident and committed service. And we just thank you for that. And um, we're just so happy that you want to be serving, and we are always happy to see the children serving as well as you. So um, we know, Pastor, that the, the work of a minister affects his whole family. So you guys have to minister together, even if you may not want to at times. And um, we believe that a family that prays together stays together. But here at Children's Ministry, we want you to be a family that plays together. Yeah. So we brought you this small token to facilitate you all being able to play together. Because we know a family that plays together stays together as well. So um, that's for everyone. And we just want you all to know that we truly, truly appreciate you 
all individually and collectively. Thank you. Good morning. All right, we stand here on behalf of the Women's Ministry Department here at Tabernacle. And uh, today we are honored to celebrate our First Lady, Sister Melanie Dutton. Um, I actually have my words written. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to ramble. Um, but talking from the heart, I've always admired your spirit. And uh, every time you walk into a room, your smile just brightens up the place. And it just puts everybody at ease. And uh, I think that's a, a beautiful, um, your presence and your essence is just uh, felt by everybody. And I just wanted to say thank you for me that you do make a difference. And. Um, also, just to acknowledge the fact that we consider you to be a Proverbs 31 woman, and uh, a woman that represents uh, one that lives a godly life through faith and trust in God, one who watches over and her affairs of her household and who does not eat bread idly. Uh, you are honored for the role that you play in being the wife and the critical support to Pastor Dutton, in addition to being an excellent mother in raising godly children and ensuring that they have a balanced life. We recognize that this is not an easy job to fill these shoes and with a spouse who's pulled in so many directions and who's diligent in meeting the needs of this flock. Today, your sacrifice has not gone unnoticed. We thank you for your labor of love, your prayers, and your sacrifice. We continue to pray for you and your family. May God bless you. Amen. So we just have a little gift for you that for you, you. <laughs> we love you. That you can spend however you want. Yeah. Without him or with him, it doesn't matter. God bless. Stay right there. Psalms 136 talks about the deliverance that the children of Israel had. And the theme, the refrain is God love, God's love never fails. In plain English, it, God's love never fails. God has brought us a pastor that has demonstrated that to us. And say amen again. Come on, come on. And I'd like the men to stand right now. All the men here, stand right now. If you're able to stand, please stand. And I thank you for standing because you all are supporting our pastor also, the visitors. Thank you. Thank you. Um, our pastor has demonstrated this from the little children. They love him to the oldest ones. And he was there for me personally at the passing of my father-in-law. He came all the way down, drove down to see him and pray with us. So many of you have had those moments where his family, he has touched us. And we, today we thank you so much, Pastor. You mean so much to us. You've, from you came in from COVID, you've demonstrated undying kindness and love. So we thank you. And we have a small token for you to spend for yourself. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Sabbath, everyone. 
Today we have the special privilege of honoring a woman whose grace, strength, and quiet dedication have been a blessing to us all. Our pastor's wife, Sister Dotton Mullaney. You are a constant source of support, and not only to our pastor, but the entire church family. Your kindness and gentle spirit have touched many hearts, and your behind the scenes efforts do not go unnoticed. In recognition of your steadfast faith, we would like to present you with an orchid plant. Much like this beautiful flower, you are a symbol of beauty, patience, and resilience. Just as the orchid grows and thrives with care, so does our appreciation for you continue to grow and blossom. On behalf of the elders' wives, we thank you and we love you, and we thank you for your countless ways that you contribute to Tabernacle. May this orchid remind you of our gratitude and of God's ever-present care and love for you. May God bless you, Melanie. Um, so the last presentation for Pastor, I'm here on behalf of the church as a, as a whole, and every year we like to give Pastor and the family a little bit of a blessing, and we have a blessing for them. But I was asked to say a few words, and I think that one of the biggest changes that has happened since Pastor Dotton has been here is uh, ChatGPT. So I asked... Um, So I asked ChatGPT to help me with a poem. Is that all right? Visitors, is that all right? All right. In January 2021, you answered the call to guide and to lead and to uplift us all from sermons that inspire to prayers that heal your devotion and love we constantly feel. You visit the sick, you counsel with care, always ready to listen, always there. With a heart so kind and a spirit so true, we're blessed by the work God does through you. Balancing church and family, you find a way to shine God's light each and every day. Levi and Brooke and Mulaney by your side, a pastor, a husband, a father with pride. You lift us up with wisdom profound, helping us stand on spiritual ground. So today we say with gratitude immense, thank you for your love, your strength, and your sense. For all you've done and all you'll do, Pastor Dotton, we really appreciate you. So thank you for that. So we normally have a, a, a gift that, we, that I'll, I'll give to Pastor but we decided to do something a little bit extra special this year. And uh, one thing that pastors are, a lot of pastors, a lot of what we would consider good pastors, sometimes pastors don't spend enough time with their family, right? So we wanted to make sure that we incentivized him to go on a, a, a Royal Caribbean cruise. I said it's an incentivization, all right? <laughs> We ain't have enough for the whole seven days, but you can at least eat free on us while you're there. <laughs> if you know, you know. But we want to pr present this to you and hope that you use it in the next year. Take some time to re-pour into yourself and your family, and we just want to say that we love you and appreciate you, all right? Thank you to all of our departments. Also, if you're an individual, you have a gift for pastor, we will have some time upstairs during lunch for you to provide that gift. And we also have a continued program this afternoon 
during our lunch hour um, for thanks and appreciation for our members to be able to share with our pastor. So I'm going to give pastor a few minutes, short few minutes, to, um, <laughs> to say any remarks. Good morning, everyone. Um, we are certainly overjoyed um, and in shock. And so at this time, Melanie is going to speak. <laughs> oh my, I know you guys don't hear me on the mic very often because, as you know, I do not like to be up here on the mic, but I try my best. Um, man, there's so much words, but it's hard to put it all together um, just to see how much the church appreciate my husband's hard work. I've seen him make so many sacrifices. Um, you know, some of, sometimes it doesn't really make sense, um, but I know that it comes really deep down inside what he is doing. Um, believe you me, he made a lot of sacrifices, sleepless nights, and it goes on. Um, and Brooke, Levi, and myself, we're always by his side and we love him so much because he finds some way to still spend time with us um, and I really want to say thank you for doing that for us and um, you know still pouring a lot into the church um, also I don't speak a lot you may not see me doing a lot but um, I really do care about you guys I always like to talk one-on-one -on -one and see how you guys are doing and you know that's just me um but i really love and care care for you guys and uh thank you so much for all this gifts and appreciation and beautiful words that's been said um like wow <laughs> sometimes you don't think about it until you hear someone actually say these things about you um, but I, I really want to thank God for what he's doing for us, the church and our family. Thank you. I tried to put them on the spot. Um, as you know, I love to put individuals on the spot. You, you all know. Um, I really do enjoy being here. Um, I can't speak for my colleagues. I don't know what they're going through. Some are going through a really tough time. I know that. And I don't want to echo it all through the conference so that everybody hears, but I'm having fun. <laughs> and it's always good to know we have great leaders and individuals who come here week after week who can be a part of this ministry that touch individuals' lives in a way that it's changed forever. And I'm thankful um, for each and every one of you. Each and every day, our prayers are for you. Um, we know that there are different challenges that each one goes through. Uh, even now, I'm, I'm processing all the different information. I'm looking out and seeing all your faces. Believe me, some of the things that you have shared with me, even up till this morning, um, I am tempted to share it even now um, because I know some of you are grieving. Um, the McCullers, Dr. McCullough, I know that you, are, you, you have lost two individuals in your family in this past week. And, um, and my heart goes out for you. Um, for Sarah, who I see right here, who has just lost your brother, um, my heart goes out to you. Um, and for everyone who has just come back from a funeral, those who are still processing the grief that you're going through, and for those who have family who is still visiting, um, who are sharing this moment, um, for those who have just moved into town, this is a great church. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a pastor here. Um, I'm saying that because you found a great family, one who's got your back, one who will look out for you, one who you need to also look out for. And I'm thankful for being part of TAB, and, and I know that there is great things in store for this church. God bless you all. It's so good to see you. Um, Alana, you got family from Trinidad? Is that your cousin? What's your name? Aliyah. Aliyah, welcome to TAB. I hope you don't think about going back. You found a place where Roti is. And we 
love each and every one of you. Hopefully there's lunch today, Elder. Yes, sir. So there is lunch today. Um, I can't wait to meet with each and every one of you. Um, I also noticed, is this something planned? Everyone is wearing blue. Yep. <laughs> How come we didn't get the memo? Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm wearing blue. But man... I'm in shock. Elder, I don't know how you all pull this off. You all are secret snipers. And I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Tab. We love you all. Thank you. Thank you.